Hi, this is Claire, Cowan composer and residence on the Addison Regional Park, Residency 2011, on um, my latest video blog. I've been playing a little bit of guitar here, I haven't been able to record because the waves are too noisy. It's pretty quiet inside and it feels a little bit like there's a presence here, a real presence of history and um, that can feel a little bit heavy at times but I think through me bringing all my own instruments in here and making music in here it's sort of lightened it and given it um, some sort of personal um, sort of touch and, and made it feel a bit more homely for me. I think because of the abundance of wood in this house, it definitely influenced the way I could feel about um, the music that I was playing because it sounded so beautiful. When I, when I was playing, the resonance was huge. So playing, like, especially stringed instruments or guitars in here, um, it's, really, it's really nice to listen to. Hi, uh, it's me Claire. This time I decided I'm going to do a video blog um, so that you can see some of the beautiful surroundings at my residency. It's uh, almost sundown and I'm down at the beach inside a tree. And this tree is one of the most amazing trees. There's about four of them along the beach and this is the first one you get to after the homestead. Um, there's the homestead through there. Probably can't see it actually. Maybe you can just see the fence. Um, so today um, I've been doing a little bit of writing for the first time um, in the homestead and playing my guitar. And one of the tracks I'm working on is for guitar. Um, or guitar will be the main sort of thing and then playing a little bit of cello. Um, can you hear all the bird song? There's so many birds at this time of night. So this sort of whole alcove bay just kind of um, amplifies the sound, whatever's happening down here, and, and you can hear it up in the hills. And this tree's magic. It is intimidating having so much freedom because where do you begin? Like there's so much opportunity, so much possibility and which uh, direction to take in terms of style and um, you know instruments and um, genre and stuff like that. So I was certainly thinking, oh, I think I'm going to have to put some restrictions on myself here just so that I can begin somewhere. And so I ended up saying, all right, well, I'm only going to write for music uh, instruments that I can play, and I'm not going to have any. Um, I'm mainly going to use audio and not write for any fake instruments, so I've done that, I've kept to that, everything you hear on the album is live, um, and 
I want it to be inspired by the place and that's one of the residency um, requirements and so that was a already um, imposed restriction but not really a restriction because everything that I would have written here w would be influenced whether I wanted it to be or not by the place and the surroundings. I think at first I wasn't expecting this building to have such an effect on me. But, and I was thinking, oh, okay, if I'm working in a regional park, I'll be inspired by the landscape and the birds and trees and whatever else you find in a park. And, um, but not so much. That was more my recreational time or times that I took my instruments outside to ha have a jam or whatever. But mainly it felt like this building was the main um, feeling of the album. and I've used photographs from the homestead on the front of all the um, limited edition albums I made. Um, and the titles kind of inspired from the sort of like the homeliness and, and the sort of hauntedness of this place. I guess the packaging and the title of the CD is a bit of a nod to the sort of domesticity of um, composing in a homestead rather than like most composers would compose in a pretty technology filled studio these days and, and the experience of the residency being um, just as equally about living and experience in the day to day things as doing the work so because um, I find those things not very easy to separate. Um, and so it's a bit of a nod to that using the sewing machine and using photographs of the home and the wallpaper. Um, sometimes just, you know, stuff that happened with the weather, um, you know, the trees wet after rain and stuff like that. Toasting Ghosts album was written on this piano and it, I think it was written quite late at night. It was just like a simple waltz idea and it was an improvised thing and I, I think I just set the, um, set the microphone recording and played a long, um, a long improvisation and then later on sort of edited it back to a shorter piece. With another piece on the album called Up the Garden Path, which is the first track on the album, it's a, um, it's a bit of a country kind of hoedown and um, I never really expected to put it on the album because I was thinking oh, I'm going to make quite a serious sort of slow album but um, ended up putting it on there because it just feels like this place, it's got that sort of um, boot stomping kind of colonial feel to it um, and I ended up recording this as an old radio in there that's, that's about this big, it's massive, ended up recording that for about 20 minutes and ended up using excerpts of what was on the radio that was related. So I mentioned that here we are coming up to Christmas. I have given it as a possession to the descendants of the time. Yeah, I recorded all the boot stomps in here and hand claps and stuff. And um, borrowed my friend's banjo because I thought it was, you know, it's got to have a banjo if it's going to be a country hoedown. Yeah, and a fiddle. And, yeah. The Slow the Sunrise track is a, a long sort of meditative piece which is mainly based around one guitar song. And, um, I guess that was about the pace of this this place, and it makes no it makes no effort to be a complicated piece. It's really quite simple, and just has some simple layers over the top, and some recordings of water noises and birds and things that I put in there because it it needs to 
I just needed it. There were some gaps in the piece and I thought it just needs some foley in the background because always here we can hear the noise of the birds and the noise of the trees and the noise of the water. So I thought, okay, maybe it's a bit cliche, but I think it needs it. It was interesting inviting people here, whether they were my musicians or not, because they would come down the path and I'd be like, just come in, um, into my studio. And they'd be like, that's not your studio, is it? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, wow, they're so impressed that this, this homestead is like all mine for the use and um, that a scheme like this residency is actually um, happening in, in Auckland. So, um, yeah, and they were, they were really taken with the place and um, yeah, they loved it, loved recording in here. I wouldn't have ever got around to writing this music if I wasn't on a residency because, well, one, for one, it's the discipline of um, doing things and finishing them off of your own accord without anybody saying, here's, um, here's a film, please score it by this date and this is how much we're going to pay you because um, I just don't get the time. So it was really, really important that I did have this time to be able to come up with my own um, album and not only those tracks but the seeds of other ideas for um, uh, a longer album in the future. Mm -hmm. 